hey there welcome back friends in this video we will talk about couple of more concepts under python now friends there are couple of things which we have already seen out of which one of the thing is for loop and if you guys recall it properly then it is like for for example a temporary variable let me give the name as temp in let us make use of the range method which we already know now and we will give the range as uh, maybe 10 and uh, in here we can simply print temp if i run this code then it will give me values from 0 to 9 now in here we can easily make out this keyword in now even though we have usually used this keyword in for but this keyword can be used anywhere else right so let me show you a couple of use cases where we can make use of in keyword and this is very interesting as well all right so in here for example we have a name john joe now in this name for example we wish to check whether the alphabet x has occurred or not how we can do it well first way could be using for loop let me show you so in here i can type in for letter in john doe if letter equal to equal to x then we will return then we will return or uh, in fact we will print true else will print false right so fairly straightforward let me copy this statement let me paste it in here and let me type in false all right let me run this and this will show false 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 well there is no occurrence of x in here well we can add some additional logic in here in order to get only one true or false how that can be done we can add a flag for example found equals false and in here what we can do is if if we find this value x in the text then we will mark this this particular variable as true all right so this looks good let me get rid of this else part we don't need it right and uh, if we find the value of x in that case we will do what we will simply call in the break and finally we will print what we will print the value inside this variable either true or false let me run this and here we get false now for example I add X in here let me run this we will get true for example I use uppercase X and run this we will get false now in here we have X but uh, this this particular uh, what we say this particular condition will check for lowercase X we can further improve on this we can tap in letter dot lower and this lower is nothing but a method now this will convert the letter into a lowercase first and then the comparison will take place as a result it will also consider the uppercase x this time and we get a true value now this is nice this is cool but all of this pain can be reduced and we can get the entire result in a single line let me show you so in here we can type in this print and uh, in between this print we will type in x in and we will pass on this name that's it now in here as of now let us get rid of the upper case letter and we convert it to a lower case x as of now now let me run this and this will give us true so this in operator will check whether this alphabet this character is present in here or not and this will definitely return true or false based on the condition so this is very interesting this is very powerful and for example we wish to 
uh, for example we wish to compare for uh, upper case and lower case both the condition then we can simply make use of a or operation let me copy this entire statement let me paste it in here and in case of lower case x we can use the upper case x and now we will get true now this is very interesting how easily we can check a alphabet from a string now this in operator also works with different data structures like list tuples uh, dictionaries all sort of those things so let me quickly show you for example we have this list list x for example and uh, we initialize this with uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and we wish to compare whether uh, there is the number 3 present in this list or not so it would be like 3 in list x let me run this and this will simply return true now friends this in operator can be made use of uh, any iterable data structure for example my set may be a data structure and there could be like 2 x 5 comma l so there are a couple of values inside the set very simple set and we wish to compare we wish to check whether 6 is present in this set or not so it would be like 6 in my set let me run this and this will say false if I compare x then it should return true so this is so damn convenient right uh, now finally before ending this video let me also show you how to deal with in keyword with directories so in here for example I have uh, some keys like one colon o n e one comma two colon t w o and finally three colon three now these are like a very simple examples but uh, these are good very good examples in order to demonstrate the in keyword so in here for example I say one in oops this is a directory I haven't given the name so it would be like my dictionary equals the dictionary all right so in here I will simply type in one in my dictionary and this will give us true but uh, for example I make use of o n e then it will give false now by default friends in will compare only the key values from the dictionary but for example we wish to compare the values again definitely we can make use of the values method and values method will return a list of values and from that list in will compare the value which we have passed for example I simply give you or show you the values then here is the values which are there in the dictionary and it will simply return a list containing the values as a result in can compare the values and uh, it can be done now for example if you wish to compare key and values both of them in a single statement even this is possible so in here for example we type in one in dictionary or let me copy this part one in my dictionary dot values and we run this we will get true because one of the statement is giving us true so these kind of mixing matching of operators is uh, possible and we can definitely make use of in in many situation and in is very useful all right so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video in our next video we will explore more about couple of more operators thanks for watching have a nice day and take care